Tensions soar in the Korean Peninsula. Amid dispute with South over drones, North Korea blows up in Turkorean Road, rail lines near border. After Russia Ukraine and the Middle East, North Korea moments away from starting new war? South Korea's military fire warning shots. Amid the rising tensions, South Korea says North's actions violate past agreements. Amid the rising tensions in the Korean Peninsula, North Korea blew up sections of inter-Korean roads and rail lines on its side of the heavily fortified border between the two Koreas on October 15, prompting South Korea's military to fire warning shots. Tensions have been rising on the Korean Peninsula, with Pyongyang earlier warning it would cut off the inter-Korean roads and railways entirely and further fortify the areas on its side of the border as part of its push for a two-state system. South Korea's Unification Ministry, which handles cross-border affairs, condemned the incident as a clear violation of past inter-Korean agreements, calling it highly abnormal. In response to the blasts by the North, Seoul's military fired warning shots south of the military demarcation line, although there was no damage reported. Tensions mounted between both the countries after the North accused Seoul of sending drones over Pyongyang. North Korea said the drones scattered a huge number of anti-North leaflets, and Kim Yo-jong, Kim's powerful sister, warned Seoul of a horrible disaster. Earlier, the Korean Central News Agency reported that North Korea's defense ministry ordered its artillery units near the border with South Korea to be prepared to open fire. The order was issued on October 12 by the General Staff of the Korean People's Army. Initially, South Korean defense minister denied the claim, but the country's Joint Chiefs of Staff later issued a statement saying they cannot confirm whether the North Korean allegations are true or not. The North's army had previously announced that it would permanently shut off and block the southern border with South Korea. Remember, balloons have regularly been sent to North Korea by South Korean activists. Those balloons carry leaflets with information about democratic society in the South and even USB memory sticks with K-pop music videos. South Korean governments have sought to stop activists from conducting such campaigns. Ban on balloon launches was introduced in 2021 by Seoul, but the ban was later ruled unconstitutional by South Korea's top court, which said it violated freedom of speech. North Korea has been taking steps to sever inter-Korean ties, redefining the South as a separate, hostile enemy state, since leader Kim Jong-un declared it a primary foe in early 2024 and said unification was no longer possible. The two Koreas are still technically at war after their 1950-53 war ended in an armistice, not a peace treaty.